Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you a simple uh, contact form in ASP.NET Core. So uh, if you want to design contact form, then master to add a, a contact form model like in which you can add uh, uh, some uh, like name field, email field, message and the contact number. But I'm taking three fields only uh, like email, name and the message. Uh, okay so uh, according you you can take uh, more uh, fields uh, in the model like con uh, in the uh, in the model contact so after that uh, you have to add a new controller and in which you can design uh, two uh, method that is the get method and the post method and in the get method you have to just create a model and in the post section you ha just have to uh, send these uh, fields uh, in the contacts uh, in the mail uh, you have to say that okay so this is the simple thing you have to design in your asp.net core applications uh, now uh, by using the scaffolding you have to add a, a contact form so uh, this is the simple thing that is the uh, I have a contact controller in which you can add a contact mail and the contact mail uh, designed uh, the contact uh, class uh, with the email name and the text area of the message and by using um, I email sender uh, interface you have to implement uh, your mail functionality. So this is the get section only and just I want to add HTTP post method and in uh, in the post action method you have to just call i email sender okay and in the contact mail you have got uh, you got a contact with the <coughs> contact parameter and you notice that in the contact parameter uh, you got something like that uh, so you just use i email sender and that is already uh, given by Microsoft just use task that is asynchronous type so use async keywords so use await underscore email sender actually use it here private uh, read only I email sender underscore email sender and that uh, email sender property add in the constructor okay contact controller and uh, go to the section that is i email sender interface is uh, there and uh, that is the one single method that is uh, task send email async in which you have to add email subject and the html message so implement that uh, interface in the class by using uh, so you can add a new class that is send mail class uh, that is already added in the uh, model folder so that interface implement that interface in the class send mail so just create a new class send mail and implement that interface i email sender so uh, string email string subject html message is there okay and that is the mail message uh, class mail message you know very well about that uh, that thing mail message and SMTP clients network credentials username password must to add it and uh, you notice that uh, that email uh, that is the from email it's not mapped with that email so underscore email sender dot send email async and contact dot email and uh, that is the subject I want to uh, send it so you have to their contact mail and uh, that is the last thing is that message so uh, contact dot email contact mail and the last one contact dot message but you notice that uh, email and name field uh, field is missing 
in that uh, thing so you you have to add these things uh, in a variable like message equals to name plus contact message so contact dot name and plus and uh, contact dot message so you have to concat these things also email is uh, also just you have to uh, add the email also so message is there so just pass it here message and also that thing is uh, is add in the view back object that is uh, that is the thanks message you have to add in the view back object of uh, view back variable so uh, just add view back dot successful message after sending the mail dot uh, view back dot confirm may message or mail you have to say equals to thanks for your mail thanks for your contacts okay so that is fine now after that you have to notice that a view back dot confirm message is there now after that just open contact mail uh, mm, that is the CSS HTML file and uh, you have to assign view back dot confirm mail is not equals to null then simply pass that message with the alert successful class in the division section so class equals to alert alert successful message okay alert success so uh, the basic thing uh, uh, to contact uh, uh, to design contact page is that from email and the to email from email i uh, i want to say that suppose you have to design a website and uh, where you uh, where you uh, pin uh, that contact form and uh, any user visit your websites and uh, pass uh, their user uh, their email name email name and the message and click on the send button then uh, that message will pass from uh, the another uh, uh, email id to the administrator email id so here we have uh, that is the from email and the to email that to email is directly related to the admin mail and the from mail is related to the website or domain email okay so if you want to add uh, if you want to implement i email sender interface injections so use uh, that dependency services dot at transient so here uh, the simple thing uh, you have to use must to understand the from email and the to email from email is directly related to uh, your email address uh, which is uh, which email you want to send to uh, the uh, admin mail that is not related to your uh, that email which is passed in the uh, passed in the method or you have to say that email that email is not related to any email or you can you have to say that that email is not related to the from and to email that is the separate mail uh, or you have to say uh, from email and the to email is uh, separate uh, email from uh, in the passing parameters so so here we have uh, from and to email assign it here according you if you pass uh, gmail data so must uh, check uh, sec uh, less secure apps where you assign the uh, offline okay so uh, the mail address is it here from mail and the to mail 
okay the, so smtp.gmail.com is there and the network credential is their username and password must to provide uh, that is um, username and password is related to the from email okay must to check it and the message body is directly related to email plus HTML message okay and the two email address is related to the admin mail where you want to send the message and from email that is uh, related to your secure less uh, email that from email is not related to your that uh, email which is uh, passed by the user so <coughs> when we uh, click on contact dot confirm ma uh, contact mail then that uh, form will be generated and fill the data and after send click on the send button your data will be sent to the mail IDs and you have to check your email IDs where your XYZ at the rate of gmail.com is there but that mail is not related to the from mail so just check your outlook account that is the my outlook account and uh, you have to check xyz at the rate of gmail.com there is so thank you very much for watching this video